Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this Range Rover P38A 2.5 diesel HSE that you can see behind me um, that we're selling a spares or repair. Anyway, hope you like it. All right, let's have a quick look around this uh, 51 plate Range Rover P38A 2.5 DHSE automatic finished in blue with um, cream leather. Now, as I say, we are selling this as spares or repair because the ABS and traction control lights are on uh, and things like the climate control aren't working. So um, don't expect perfection. In fact, I can't even be bothered to clean it. It's, um, <laughs> this is exactly how it came into us as part of the job lot of, uh, of other Land Rovers. Um, so here it is. Um, headlamp wash wipe, uh, hurricane alloys, which are quite nice. Color coded mirrors. Um, beige, in, beige leather piped in black or dark blue. Tow pack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll go around and pick out. I'm, I'm not going to go through everything. It's obviously been sitting for a while because it's a bit, bit green here and there, like on the bumper there. Obviously it hasn't had a good clean for a long time and I haven't cleaned it. Um, we've got some paint chips just up here on the uh, bonnet. Uh, a bit of touching in there on the bonnet. Uh, looking down the near side, a couple of parking dinks in the near side rear door, but aside from that, looks fairly straightforward. Bumper and valance there, we've got some scuffing. Um, wheels look in relatively good shape, but do need to clean. Uh, this piece of trim here is slightly, well, it's not loose, but it's kind of slightly misshapen. Um, that's just dirt, I think. Heated screen looks to be in good shape. Roof is a bit marked with bird poo and stuff, um, but actually looks reasonably good underneath the possibly slightly flat paint. Uh, a couple of marks here on the front of the roof. Um, near side door, dirty, but, you know, here's what it is. Inside, um, door card on this side looks good. Dash looks, the interior is actually really nice on it. It's obviously has been standing a while because there's some sort of, a couple of bits of mold growing on the seat belts. But um, cover of the electric seats, which has come off there, but you can still probably use it. Unusually though, the headlining isn't sagging too badly. Oh, that has been pinned up by the look of it. Yes, it has. So yeah, headlining has been pinned into place. Um, but it's not sagging at the front. I'm going to say the seats are in good shape. All the dash there, all the wood. Um, near side rear door. Door card, it's all good. In the back there, it's all as it should be. A bit grubby. Bubbling up there in the usual spot on the back of the rear arch. Same the other side, I think, from memory. Slight pinhole dink just there in the rear valance and a little bit of paint loss, well, scuff just there. Rear bumper's a bit discoloured. It's got the luggage cover in it. Um, tow bar with twin electrics. Looking down the offside, pretty straight down there. Let's have a look at the bottom of the tailgate. See that. Again, a bit of bubbling on the back of the uh, the offside rear arch. Um, offside rear door's got a few marks and scratches on it from hands and things, and rings. Offside front door the same, a couple of scratches here. Um, offside front wing has got a gouge in it just there and that offside front tyre is bordering illegal. Um, it's really quite badly worn on the outside edge. Um, in here, driver's door card. I say grubby, but um, well, it's not too grubby actually. This needs a good vacuum. Driver's seat, a bit marked on the edge, but I think it has done over 140,000 miles. Um, yeah, there we have it. Not much more I can say about it, but say it is being sold. We're not repairing it, we're not doing anything to it. Um, and we're not taking offers on it either. It is what it is. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. 
or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. All right, I'll do a quick video of the engine starting up and running on this uh, Range Rover 2.5 DHSE. Turn on, all the warning lights come up. Starts nicely, as you can see it's nicely warmed up at the moment, but the ABS and traction control light aren't going out. It's also telling us we've got things like the bonnet open, which we can see there because it is open. Um, and telling us that it's, it's uh, running on coil springs rather than air suspension. So as I say, this one is being sold as a project. Now if we get out carefully, so we then jump the camera too much, we'll go and show you the engine. It's the BMW 2.5 DHSE, 2.5 motor, cars of the HSE. Um, seems to be in relatively rude health. I haven't looked at the history and stuff yet, but as I say, this is just going to be a sold as spares or repair because of the ABS light being on. But there you have it. It's, um, it is what it is. So it seems to run quite sweetly. So there we go.